Italy, March 2020. The outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic causes a dramatic shortage of surgical masks in healthcare facilities. Many companies start producing masks, causing a high demand for standard testing. A task force of the University of Bologna, formed by chemical engineers, medical doctors and microbiologists, set up a laboratory according to EN14683. Citizens and companies contribute with their work, donation and equipment. After one year, the Unibo lab has carried out more than 1,000 tests for 250 customers. The tests include breathability, bacterial filtration efficiency, bio burden, and splash. This project aims at sharing this experience and is funded by the European Open Science Cloud with the fast track process for COVID 19 co creation budget. The explanatory videos can be found at site.unibo.it slash open underscore mask underscore lab slash en. BFE test. The bacterial filtration efficiency test is a method used to evaluate the capacity of the surgical mask to trap the droplets exiting the mouth and the nose of the wearer. The test should be taken in a sterile room. The operators should wear a full surgical suit kit to avoid contamination. The video and images reported here are only for demonstrative purposes and were not taken during actual tests. Inoculation Staphylococcus aureus should be diluted in Pepton water to give a concentration of approximately 5 times 10 to the 5th CFU per milliliter. The bacterial challenge shall be maintained at 1.7 to 3.0 times 10 to the 3rd CFU per test. The bacterial challenge shall be determined on the basis of experience and previous positive control plates and dilution of the challenge suspension adjusted accordingly. The mean particle size in the bacterial challenge shall be maintained at 3.0 plus or minus 0.3 micrometers. Nebulizer Cutting the sample. Each test specimen shall be conditioned at 21 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius and 85 plus or minus 5 percent relative humidity for a minimum of 4 hours to bring them into equilibrium with atmosphere prior to testing. The test specimen shall be cut from complete mass. Each specimen shall be a minimum of 100 times 100 millimeters and shall include all the layers of the mass in the order in which they are placed in the complete mass. The number of specimens that shall be tested is a minimum of 5. All specimen tested shall be taken from representative areas to incorporate any variation in construction. Placing the sample The test specimen is put in place between the first stage of the cascade impactor and the inlet flange. Impactor setup. Those are the elements of a six stage Anderson impactor. Fresh plates are placed in the Anderson cascade impactor. Impactor connection.
adjusting the flow. By turning on the vacuum pump and opening the airflow valve, a laminar flow passes through the test chamber. The flow rate through the cascade impactor is adjusted to be 28.3 liters per minute. Delivery The delivery of the bacterial aerosol one minute is followed by one minute of airflow. The bacterial challenge is delivered to the aerosol chamber using the nebulizer for one minute. In this stage, the bacterial liquid is atomized into aerosols and diverted to the air passing through the chamber. The nebulizer is stopped and the airflow is let to pass through the aerosol chamber for one more minute. The total test time is two minutes. This procedure should be repeated for each test specimen and at least five specimens must be tested. Bacterial growth. After each test, the plates are removed from the impactor and incubated at 37 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius for 20 to 52 hours. Plate counts. For each specimen, the number of colonies on each plate is counted and added up to the counts to get the total number of CFU collected by the cascade impactor. The BFE results must be greater or equal to 95% type 1, greater or equal to 98% type 2 or 2R according to the breathability potential. Results of BFE tests without mask. Results of BFE tests on mask with BFE greater than 98%. Calculation of BFE. C is the mean of the total plate counts for the two positive control runs. T is the total plate count for the test specimen. Open Mask Lab. A virtual open lab for sharing face masks, test design, analysis and calibration by the University of Bologna DCAM department. Funded by the European Open Science Cloud www eosc secretariat.eu under the program fast track process for COVID-19 co-creation 2020. For more information visit our website site.unibo.it slash open underscore mass underscore lab.